Hey everybody, it's time to plant potatoes. All right. So I promised you a quick and easy video on planting potatoes no matter where you live. You don't have to have a lot of property. Um, you can do this uh, on a city balcony really if you wanted to and you only need a few things and you can probably do this for under ten dollars. I'm a little bit over ten bucks but I think if you looked around and and uh, found some deals, looked in your garage, you probably could find enough things to do this almost for free. But uh, so a few of the things that we're going to need, we're going to need a trash bin. Now, just I picked this up for like, I don't know, seven, eight dollars at uh, Walmart. And so I'm going to use this. And I picked up myself some potting soil, some organic potting soil. You want potting soil because it does tend to, uh, you know, drain easier. So you don't want your potatoes sitting in, you know, a lot of water. If you want to use regular soil, you can just put a few more holes around the bucket and we'll get to that in a few minutes, okay? So the other thing you're going to want to get is regular potatoes, organic potatoes from the grocery store and just buy them in bags. So I went a few weeks ago and I got, let's see, red potatoes and I got the regular russet potatoes, okay? I put them in a dark cupboard for all oh, about a week, week and a half, and they started to eye out. They get little eyes on them. Uh, they start sprouting. And so then I put them out into the garage. And look at, we got little sprouts coming right on, if you can see there. Look at that. Everyone knows what happens to potatoes that start getting old. But you wouldn't believe the amount of potatoes that we're going to grow with these two bags. So. The first thing we're going to do is find a container. Now I'm going to use, like I said before, a trash container. Think about this though, you can use tires. If you got old tires laying around, no kidding, four, five, six tires, you're, I'm, going to, I'm going to show you how to grow potatoes in just about anything. You can use uh, anything three gallons or more, let's say. Uh, if you want to use a, um, like a Rubbermaid, bin you can use those you're not limited but today for practical purposes and for example this is what I'm going to use now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom if you want to leave your potatoes in one spot you can cut the entire bottom out put it where you're gonna put it where you're gonna have your potatoes for the whole year and when you're done with your growing season all you gotta do is lift it up and shake it and all your potatoes will fall right out and then you just rake the dirt up and you're done. But I'm gonna put these probably, oh, next to the garage or in the driveway because my garden's pretty full. We've actually started planting watermelons, uh, cantaloupe, and honeydew that I started about six weeks ago uh, inside. So we are really limited on space, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. So anyway, let's put some holes in here. must be a better way to do this but I just grabbed a, a bit here figured I would just roll with that whatever this is gardening on a dime so whatever you have is what you use all right here we go and we're gonna put a lot of holes in Now we don't eat a lot of potatoes in our house, but uh, I think it's always good to have them around in case you ever, in case you ever needed food. So potatoes are, you gotta be careful if you have any kind of inflammatory issues. Potatoes are a nightshade vegetable and they can cause uh, inflammation in your body. So we don't eat a lot of potatoes because it does tend to cause inflammation. So, but I am going to do some this year and I know there's a lot of people out there who do eat potatoes. So we're doing this video for you 
And also, you know, it doesn't hurt to have some extra food in your basement because potatoes keep a long, long time. put some muscle into it. I couldn't find my regular bit, but I was running. I got to do things while the baby's uh, preoccupied. <laughs> She's inside playing. All right, so if you get to a point where you think that you've got, you know, enough holes in the bottom, and if you think it's too moist during the growing season, to, uh, you know, the water's just sitting in there. You can always add some holes to the sides, but be careful, you don't want to over dry your potatoes. Okay, that's, that's the other side of it. All right. It is a beautiful day today in Michigan in the 80s, Memorial Day weekend, and I'm having a ball playing outside with the kids. I'm studying for her boards, which are July 1st, and she's excited. She took her pre-boards the other day and scored very well. We're very proud of her, and so uh, she's in for the next, in for the real deal now. So she's upstairs working hard. All right, I think we got about enough holes. We just want to make sure we get enough drainage there. Okay, so, here we go. See that? And don't be afraid if you want to put a couple holes near the bottom, and I may do that as I go through the growing season. If I see that it's a little too wet, you want your potatoes to stay nice and dry so they don't mold, okay? Uh, we don't, you don't want mold on your potatoes because that will ruin them. So, I'm going to turn this back over. We're going to go ahead and open up our bag of potting soil here. And we are going to put just a few inches, maybe like six inches or so, or a little bit more, in the bucket. Okay. And I'm going to bring the camera around and show you. That way you can see what I'm doing here. Now I got six or six or eight inches in there right now. And I think what I'm gonna do today is uh, the russet potatoes. So I'm gonna come through here and I'm gonna grab one potato here. And it is so easy, it's unbelievable. You guys, you can grow so many potatoes. You're gonna put three to four plant, three to four eyes in here, okay? That's it. And you'll grow a hundred, up to a hundred pounds of potatoes in this trash bin, believe it or not. Now, old tires, I'll tell you how to do that here. You want to start with one tire. Fill it up, put your eyes in and plant them. As they grow, put more ti another tire on top, fill that up, let it keep growing. Put another tire on, fill it with dirt, let it keep growing. You'll have a stack like this, let it come out the top, and you'll have a nice plant on top. And then, when uh, it blooms, and in the fall, when it blooms, potatoes are ready. You can always check and reach down in there and see if you've got potatoes ready. And then all you got to do is pull your tires off one at a time. You can actually roll the tires and the potatoes will fall right out. No kidding. Uh, I've seen lots of people do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this off. These eyes, I'm cutting them off like that, okay? Just random, okay? And I'm going to set them in here. And I'm going to set them in there so you can still see them. I'll use some bigger ones because I've got a lot of, lot of potatoes. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna put four. Well, I'm gonna put three in here. But I'm gonna go for the bigger eyes because I bought uh, oh three or four of these containers is what I'll get this year. I got two right now, and uh, and then I'll I'll get a, a couple more and I'll do two russet and two red potatoes and I'll give them away you know because I will have way too many potatoes but I'm gonna bring the camera around and show you what it looks like and then we can see exactly what I'm doing all 
All right, so there we are. We got our potatoes down in here. And what you're gonna wanna do is kinda nestle them down in there. And you're gonna wanna cover them like that, okay? Cover them up and let them grow. You only wanna cover them with an inch or so of soil, okay? And they're gonna start coming up. And it's a, it's a little bit of a process, so as they come up, you're going to just keep filling up, let them grow, fill up, let them grow, fill up, let them grow, and get to, you know, a few inches below here. That way you have a little water, and water can collect and so it can drain. Uh, and then let it grow into a big plant, and then you will be all set, and you will have all kinds of potatoes. This is how to grow potatoes on a dime. Now, I want to tell you, I know potatoes are really inexpensive, but... Uh, they're fun to grow and it's fun for the kids and there's something about growing your own food. There's something inside that uh, gives you that sense of fulfillment when you reach into the earth and you pull out food that you're going to nourish your body with and your family's body or your friends and you, you're spreading it around. So there's really something to be said about doing, uh, doing projects like this and growing our own food and you know you guys have seen me foraging through the yard for everything from dandelions to, to lilacs, uh, you know, things like that. So there, there's a, just a lot, of, um, a lot of good feelings that come with that, and it connects you to the earth. So we all need to be connected, and uh, if you guys have any questions about gardening, I'll try to answer them. Feel free to message me anytime. I love it. Anything you want to know about healthy tips for living, uh, feel free. If I can't answer it, I'll find somebody that can. I'm going to put a little bit more dirt on the top here. And uh, we're going to give this baby some water and get our potatoes ready to go. All right. Every Irishman should know how to grow potatoes. You guys have a great day. And our family is sending our best to you always. See you next time. Don't forget to check out more videos on YouTube at The Amazing Adventure.